Welcome to the Humane Rigging DVD. My name is Nathan Vegadol, and on this DVD, I'm going to pretend to know something about rigging. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing I want to do is just look at rigging from a bird's eye view. Broadly speaking, when we build a rig, we're actually building a tool for someone to use. And because of that, usability is one of our primary concerns as riggers. It's much like how software developers ought to keep usability in mind. They could write an amazingly powerful piece of software, but if it's a complete pain to use, it's not really that useful to most people. Rigs are the same way. You could create the most amazingly clever rig with perfect deformations and simulation, but if it's hard for animators to use, it's nothing but an exercise. It's not actually useful for real animations. So remember, rigs are tools for people to use. Rigs are a means to an end, they are not an end in themselves. Because of that, I highly recommend that if you're serious about rigging, that you take up animation as well. You can still become a good rigger without doing that, especially if you work closely with the animators that do use your rigs, but it's going to be a lot trickier. If you do animation yourself, it's a lot easier to immediately understand why some rigs suck and some rigs rock. So with that out of the way, what can you expect from this DVD? Well, this DVD focuses almost entirely on building good control schemes for animators. If you're looking for material on creating great deformations or setting up stimulations, well, you've got the wrong DVD. But wait, please don't throw this in the trash, seriously. Even if you just want to learn deformations, this DVD covers a lot of prerequisite material for that. And that's because this DVD does not approach things from a purely step-by-step -step vantage point. Instead, I've put a lot of effort into teaching the fundamental concepts behind rigging and how to use them to do your own problem solving. Imagine, if you will, a book on computer programming that tries to teach you how to write every possible piece of software you will ever want to write step by step. It would be ridiculous. It's not possible. There's too many things a person might want to write. Instead, a good programming book will teach you concepts that you can use to solve a lot of problems. The same applies to any skill, in fact. Step-by-step -step drawing books aren't that useful either, except perhaps if you're just taking your first baby steps. But ultimately, you'll need to learn how to think about and approach drawing. And a good drawing manual will try to teach that. I am taking that same approach here. A lot of the material on this DVD isn't even specific to Blender. I will be using lots of examples, of course, but they are all in the service of trying to teach concepts and teach you how to think for yourself and solve your own problems. And I hope that you will approach this DVD in that same spirit. If there is a rig that you want to build, but which is not covered on this DVD, I really encourage you to approach it as a learning opportunity and try to figure it out for yourself. That is how you will really learn rigging. Rigging is a lot more about creative problem solving than it is about setting up specific rigs. This DVD has been a project of passion for me, and I hope you get a lot out of it. And since it's released under Creative Commons, I really encourage you to make copies of it and share it with other people. Don't just keep it to yourself. Although it would of course be nice for people to support the DVD too, if they can, but you know, don't worry too much about it. So anyway, let's get on to the rigging now.